Alright, we're attempting to play Dan Kuga, but uh, I think the fraps might slow it down. Round we're going to see. One. Fight. Oh, that's not too bad. So this is Dan Kuga. Basically, this is there was this arcade game. It was a Street Fighter knockoff called Global Champion in the U.S. and Kaiser Knuckle everywhere else. And basically, it's it's this. But there was an unreleased prototype called Dan Kuga, which was basically like a an upgrade, a World Warrior. Well, not World Warrior, but you know how Street Fighter had the World Warrior, and then it was upgraded. Well, essentially, what this is is like the upgrade chipset, I guess, to Dan to uh, Kaiser Knuckle. It's a pretty decent game. This upgrade is actually uh, did not achieve widespread release. Uh, apparently, someone got a hold of it because it's maimed. But uh, it's actually a pretty good game. There's a lot of really terrible Street Fighter knockoffs, but this is actually probably one of the best ones. Um, the crush system is kind of similar to Samurai Showdown, as you would think. Basically how it works is you take damage, your crush meter goes up, and once it's full, you can either execute a desperation move or your special attacks will, uh, like if I throw the ninja star, it'll hit with more damage because I had a full crush bar. Also, the doctor comes out and tells you whether or not you killed the guy. The two black spaces are um, Kaiser Knuckle bosses. You can actually play as them in this version. Which everybody's moveset has been tweaked a little bit. So it's, it's probably apparent they finished this but just didn't release it because they didn't think it would be worth the cost of producing it. That's just my guess. Uh, Tato has never said anything about this because this game's like old. I actually have another video of this up playing through the game as uh, Azteca, the boss, so you can check that out if you want to see gameplay as one of the bosses. In the original Kaiser Knuckle, to get to the last boss, you had to beat all the levels without losing, and you had to have a ridiculously high score. You couldn't even face the last boss. In this one, you can face the last boss no matter what your score, and you can use continues. Also, uh, what's his name? Gonzalez and Azteca are sub bosses rather than final bosses. Crap. They also made the CPU a lot dumber in this version. The CPU in Kaiser Knuckle was absolutely brutal with Gonzalez being near impossible to defeat. He's still pretty tough because he can grab from about half a screen away. I was actually recording a, a Wii play of this last night, as in two people playing through the game, but uh, Sabin you can, as you probably guessed, that was actually playing this. He actually had to go, so lost a lot of footage there. Round one. Fight. Hmm. I can't help but wonder if the creators of Tekken played this game at some point, because a lot of characters have the same name. Like, you got Wulong, and there's a Kazuya in this game. Really highly coincidental stuff, especially because Wulong is essentially a Jackie Chan ripoff, just like Lei Wulong. It's also Jackie chanting me to death. I double jump right into it. That is not an effective strategy. Also, they changed the palettes in the backgrounds in the game for Dan Kuga, which I'm not sure why, because... I mean, the palettes looked a lot better in Kaiser Knuckle, actually. Well, some of them, you know. Like, this had water in the original, and now it looks like blood back there. Round two. Fight. The Red Dragon Falls. I'm also really out of practice at this game, as you can tell. The last time I played Cross Counter a few months ago, he absolutely destroyed me. Oh 
only way I could squeeze out a win was using Gonzalez. The characters in this do appear to be pretty balanced, which is pretty good. You know, a lot of these uh, Street Fighter knockoff games had real balance issues, but this one holds it together pretty well. There's actually some tournament footage of Dan Kuga on uh, YouTube, which you can find. I think So85 has some up. Most of the Japanese players were using uh, Boggy, believe it or not, and uh, Gonzalez. And there was one guy using Kazuya. Kazuya is essentially the Ken or Ryu of Dan Kuga and Kaiser Knuckle, respectively. Ah, can't see that. I'm going to lose. I lost. And I know in the comments there's going to be like, oh, you suck. All you had to do was this. You know what? I don't care. Daggummit. Here, let's let's uh look at some different characters here. Check out Gonzalez. Round one, one. Fight. A lot like uh Zhang Geef, actually, except he's like a boss. A Russian guy, but I don't think Gonzalez is a Russian name. Of course, I could be wrong. I don't remember any of the commands or his throws, so I don't expect to see any. Unless I just get lucky. Also, one problem I have with this game is that the throws are... Not just throws, but the special moves are ridiculously hard to pull off in some cases. Like, all the desperation moves are stuff like... Press forward, and then down back, and then upright, and then do a full quarter circle, and then back, and like a high punch. And in the battle situation, it's impossible to remember and pull that off efficiently. When I played Cross Counter, he had actually learned how to do Kazuya's, but that's one of the easier ones. No offense to him. I don't blame him. I'd learn the desperation moves in this if I could. They are impossible to pull off, but if you can land them, you usually win the match because they're ridiculously overpowered. Like Gonzalez here, he throws his opponent into outer space. Crap. Oh, I'm so out of practice at this. Can't find a way. Dadgummit! I get angrier than I should at video games. Maybe I should seek help. I don't know. If I could do the right move, that would help a lot. Dadgummit! I'll admit it, I've broken controllers before. First controller I ever broke, uh, Kefka, Final Fantasy VI. The PlayStation version, mind you. I have never to this day managed to break a Nintendo controller. The things are like... Diamond. The PS2 controllers, they must make those things out of lettuce because they'll break so easy. What the heck was that? I've never seen that before. Also, some characters it's pretty easy to projectile spam with. I'm not sure why that just went straight through him. Ow. Jump right onto it, Terentsu. Why don't you 